To our next comedian lights him up wherever she goes. In fact, I just saw her all back lighting up one. She wouldn't share. All the way from Trenton, one of the funniest women in the room, especially thanks to those... Oh, well, the brownies, Rob, the brownies, they were delightful. Jimmy Lyons, everybody. in my 20s, <laughs> stupid gravity, I hate it, I know, it's awful. So yes, I am from Trenton, I don't know where I'm at right now, I really, where the fuck am I? <laughs> is this fun fun or is that still farther out because I am completely lost? Oh shit, how bad can it be? <laughs> really, it's horrifying. Um, yeah, I am one of the few women on the ticket tonight. There's two of us, actually, and that's unusual because this job is really much harder for a female. Um, just because, for instance, if a guy isn't getting any laughs, he can show you his tiny penis and everybody laughs already. And of course, I don't, and of course, I don't have a tiny penis. Mine's huge. Um, I don't have a tiny penis. My ex got to keep that in the divorce, so it's true. It's true. Everything I'm going to tell you is true. Can't help it. So, yeah, there's a lot of young people here tonight. Thank you so much, but I have to tell you, you're probably not going to get me. So what I need you to do, go home, tell your moms and dads about me, especially your dads. Um, maybe an uncle, a grandpa. Honestly, I don't even care anymore. Really. You know, as long as he's single and he has a pension and uh, if he has a heart condition, well, you are looking at new grandma. So, really. So, which I am very excited about because if I remember correctly, as a grandmother, a big bad wolf is supposed to come over and eat me. So, I think that's going to be fun. a grandmother and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me but I don't get to see the kids as often as I'd like for you know several reasons really well first of all the girls live in Kentucky and that just breaks my heart that they're so far away but my daughter assures me they'll be back in Michigan before they start school so thank God for that I do not want them going to kindergarten in Kentucky with all those 12 year olds so <laughs> it's true I've been there. Um, Another reason might be, um, I think my kids still hold a bit of a grudge because while they were growing up, I had a favorite kid. Now I know a good parent never admits such a thing, but I can't help it. I'm only human, give or take a few Xanax. Um, but really, it's time for them to get over it. But I gotta tell you about my favorite kid, little Brian from next door. <laughs> so cool. Really, I'd have had 10 no kids. So. My daughter and my daughter-in-law were pregnant with my first two grandchildren at the same time, so we had to have a meeting. They said, what are we going to have the children call you? Because, you know, there's other grandmothers, there's still some great grandmothers, there's some wannabes. They said, we didn't want the children to call you. So I thought about it, and I said, I want my grandchildren to call me Aunt Julie. Um, yeah, they said, you know, and I said, you know what, kids are smart, they'll figure it out, I don't care what they call me. They call me Grandma Lyons, Grandma Julie, Grandma Crazy, I don't care. They're adorable, they can call me whatever they want. But one day my grandson came up to me and he said, Grandma, guess what? I have two Grandma Lyons. Well, my head almost blew off. And I said, oh, Ethan, you don't have two Grandma Lyons. That Herbie's little whore who's currently fucking your grandfather is just the latest one in his face. That man is paraded through his family, but she's not your grandmother. So. Now, I know that's a mouthful for a three-year-old. Um, so you just call her, hey, you. Like I said, I'm trying to get closer to the grandkids. And the baby stuff. 
all the young women in the audience, I have uh, something to share with you, and I don't know why this isn't bigger news, but when you turn 40, your warranty expires. <laughs> it's horrifying, let me tell you. When I turn 40, next year, um, <laughs> shut up. Um, honest to God, I felt completely apart. My eyesight failed, my back went out, my metabolism came to a complete halt. Yeah, I can gain 10 pounds on the drive to come to the It's all it takes. It's awful. And it's so insulting in this culture to get older, especially for women. You should see the products they have for us older broads, honestly. Um, the makeup for mature skin is called Spackle. Uh, I'm not lying. I have some. It's true. And the old lady underwear, this, you honestly, it's a whole system, pulleys, hydraulics, <laughs> pulled up the tits in the butt. <laughs> without it, I have man boobs, so, you know, and I think, I think advertisers think we're stupid, or manufacturers think we're stupid. They never come to us and ask us what we would like, and I gotta tell you, I've been around a long time, I have some ideas. My friends and I would love vodka-infused chocolate-covered potato chips. Yeah. They think they know best, you know, we know what women want. And a bunch of morons got together recently and came out with a product that they think us older women want. And I call them morons because there's not a woman in the world who wants this product. It's by Agra for women. No fucking way. There is not a woman in the world who needs a magic pill to make her horny, honestly. We don't even want you men by Agra for Christ's sakes. No, we would love a magic pill to help us lose weight. Uh, we would love a magic pill to get rid of the wrinkles and gray hair. But we do not want a magic pill to make us horny. Really, and there's already stuff out there that makes us horny. It's called jewelry. Really? Pay attention. Honest to God. It's true. Uh, but no, and I think advertisers think we're stupid too. You've seen them, you've seen the covers of magazines and these other television commercials. They go, oh, look at these women. They use our anti-wrinkle cream. Look how beautiful they are. They are 12 years old. Of course they don't have wrinkles. They are 12 years old, they don't know how to even spell wrinkle. And they are models, they'll never know how to spell wrinkle. So. In another ad I saw recently, the cover of a magazine. It said, Kim Kardashian's tips to lose 10 pounds quick. How on earth does that help me and my friends? That's ridiculous. We have nothing in common with that person. She's a billionaire. She has everything at her fingertips. And for her, it is really easy. Honestly, for Kim Kardashian to lose 10 pounds quick, someone just has to knock that linebacker's dick out of her mouth and what? <laughs> She's like Linebackers, so really, I hate the advertisers. Not, they're not helpful. I'm just saying. And I have most of my original parts. They're just not that good anymore. You know, the, the eggs are rotten. Um, the milk has curdled. So, yes, I am dragging around an expired dairy cake. So, so that's why old ladies are pissy. So, uh, that's why old lady perfume smells so strong. Oh my god, and then as you get older, Jesus, it's awful. Some days you have no control. Some days you know you're kind of moist where you don't want to be, but mostly you are dry. Oh god, are you dry? I'm dry. Some days I am so brittle, I swear to god. I would not have sex with a hot guy. Because that's like throwing a match on a tinderbox. That would be dangerous. In the way. And the insults just keep on coming. 
I met a new man recently. The very first time we were alone together, after about five minutes, I hear, oh my God, what's that? <laughs> Don't ever want to hear that from your doctor. Um, just saying. And men, you don't get off that much easier, really, honestly. You know, I mean, Mother Nature, she gives you that gray hair, helps you look distinguished, pretty much where it ends. Because you've seen those old men walking around, gravity's gotten a hold of them, and their balls are down around their knees. And then she gives them that stew, you know, so they can actually lick their balls. But, um, but here's the thing, they can't remember why they want to. So, um, Enjoy your use. Right, it doesn't last. Just say it. Oh, so. Met a new man recently, moved in with me. It's not working out very well because he's unemployed. Good luck in Um You know, I'm at work all the time, and I'll come home, and he's really happy to see me, which is kind of sweet. But he's, I think he's made a bigger mess while I'm gone. And when I get in the door, he's, oh, I'm so missed. I'm so happy to see you. I missed you. What's for dinner? Really, one day I'm going to kill that dog. So, um, no, I would never kill a dog. Honestly, I would never kill any animal. In fact, I love animals more than humans. Because it turns out I could probably kill a human. Uh, I started a list. That's all I'm saying. Um, but really, I love animals so much, I considered becoming a, a vegetarian uh, for a while. Not a vegan, because I need cheesecake. But, um, you know, maybe a vegetarian. I tried it for a while, but it turns out I'm, oh, shit, what's the word? Oh, um, no, lazy. Uh, so, but then I see the trucks, and I know you've seen them. All those trucks going down the freeway full of cattle and hogs taken to slaughter. That really, really does upset me. And it actually makes me a little sick to my stomach. So for just a little while, it really does put me off you know, truckers. So, um, but you know, not for long, because cable's expensive. So, um,